Okay, we speak about six against five. We have a superiority in the offense. And when we look that we have in six against five, five defense players, it doesn't, uh, it is not very important which kind of system we play. I think the first question we have to answer is do we want to make a free play solution that we play six against five with piston movements, with blocks, perhaps with crossing, or perhaps with a second pivot, with a 4-2 system. This is the first question. Are free play or move? Move like Peter showed in the morning, where we have a, a, a clear uh, Absprache, a clear a clear organization where the players, the ball and the running moves of the players should be coordinated. This is for me a move. And then the question is how many decisions is necessary for the player, which is the important player when you are six against five. And, then we, and, the, and I think the first aspect we have to uh, realize is that it is very, very important that we have the wing in the corner, I think, and then that it is necessary to get by good moves the players out of the center. And when you see that we have perhaps now a, a middle player and he goes there, then it's on the, on the next step, we have perhaps the pivot is here, we have a three against two situations, not in the 10 meter space, so we have, I think, 14 meter space. So it's very, very important to get out the center back defense player out of the middle. This is the principle which is very, very important. And then when we realize this aspect, and when we realize that every player, even this, and he is not defending against him, he has to shoot. And when this player goes here and he doesn't react, and this player goes here, that he has to pass here, and then he shoots. I think this is very, very important. And when I, when I look to the television today, or yesterday, or on Monday, or Tuesday, there is a very big, a very bad quote in the efficiency of the six against five. And why all teams, or nearly all teams, play the same system or the same move, it's the better. What do they play? A system which you can find since two years in the German Bundesliga. They all play with a player here, a player here, and this is in the most of the cases the decision player. You have to help this player to lose or to, 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 to solve and to lose to solve the, or to, to, to find the right solution, the right decision. And what is the concept that you have a center back here, a pivot here, and a right back and a right wing here. And then mostly the move is in this way, the pass goes here and he goes here. And then you see, when this player gets the ball and goes there, when this player stays here, this player stays here, he can shoot. When he's on eight meters and it's a good shooter, it's a good solution. But I think everything which is behind nine meter and we play six against five is the wrong decision. For it's a difficult shot to, to make a goal from more than nine meter. When he's on eight meters, it's okay. When we say here is the line, but when he is here and shoots, it's no good solution. The problem this player has is that he has five decisions. And this is, from my opinion, too much 
for the aim of a move is to make the game easier. And I think five decisions for this player, even if he's a world-class player like Laskovic, Hens, Kaufmann or uh, uh, La Lazarov, uh, for he has to decide when the player here comes to him, the best option is the pass here. That's the second decision. When the player here goes here, he has to pass to him. This is the... Uh, yeah, it's here. Yeah, um, this is the second op uh, option. This is the third. And this was first, second, third. If this player, which is here, goes to him, mostly they go and make uh, pressure on him so that it's not so easy to find the right solution. They get in contact. I play often with this player going, when this pass comes, this player makes, makes action so that this solution is very difficult to find for him. But when you see the games, mostly the center back player goes on him and then you have the pass, the best pass to this, uh, to this player with shooting that is the fourth. And so I have a mistake, it's, a, it's our six decisions. Whoa. This should be a six. If this player goes here, he has to make this pass. And then you have the solution here. This is five. And if this player, what you see most, goes in the anticipation position between wing right wing and right left. The last option for him is to play a very difficult, technical, difficult long pass to the wing player. And this is the sixth option for this player. And I think this is no good uh, uh, conception. It's a theoretical good conception. But when the defense knows the system, you have a lot of possibilities to make a lot of pressure on him and to force him so that you have so bad quotes. I think in 6 against 5 you have to find a quote between 60 and 70 percent and not 30 or 40. And a lot of uh, teams lost in the decision or in the crunch time. They lost the games for they played very bad in 6 against 5. They, didn't, they made no goal and they get a goal when they are 6 to 5. Uh, superiority in defense. So the, what we will do, we will start first with the six against five concept or move I play since 22 years with s different players. I started with a Russian player, the idea came from this player and from me together. Oops. And you see the concept here, that it's very similar to the system you saw. Look, I, I, they play now at the championships. We have a, a, a wide pivot. We have a second specialist wide pivot here. The consequence of this uh, positions is that the player here, who gets the ball after a movement and pass action from the uh, right uh, left wing that this player has only three decisions. The first decision when he goes here shooting. The second is this pass. It's the most successful or the, from the, from the prob probability of success. The second or the most uh, um, uh, solution we, we make the most of the goals and when this player goes inside then he pass here. That's the best solution, uh, the, 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 the baddest solution for it's not easy to make from a little angle a goal. So, uh, this is the beginning of the concept. Uh, I think it's no move from the plan we have to play six against five. When here now the third player comes to him, you see this player is now here, and then we have three players. The third player is now here. And we have three players in the space till here. Against one, two, three of our other players. So, the consequence is that we have three against two 
on the space from this uh, uh, from this uh, in, the, in the space which is 12, 13 meters, we can play three against two. And the second advantage, the pass from here to here is very short. It's very easy. And then he gets the ball, and when you see that he is out of, he can go straight and makes the goal. But it's not very uh, not very, not very probable. So the number four player will go here. And then we have two variations, either the player the, the, the pivot player stays here and then an easy pass or we make a block you see here and then he goes here in a two against one situation which must be in a very good uh, space that we have a, a shot from this position. This is our plan for the six against five and when we go uh, away, uh, more aside further they're only scrolling down. Okay and then you see uh, when we play seven against six, and I am playing seven against six, I started the first time in 1994. I think that I have one, then more than 1,000 attacks in the games, in the tournaments, and in the preparation time with my several teams I had in this time. More than 1,000 attacks in the last three years. I, ch I played in the first German league 280 times, seven against six in the German Bundesliga. And we had good rates. I will show you the rates and the quotes on Saturday in the Congress Center. And now you see, we have the same system in seven against six, like we have in, set in six against four. We have uh, a, a two wide pivot. We have a decision player here. This is Ro Roland Schlinger. He is 18 months in our team. And uh, I estimate how often I trained him this system. Without of the games, he had 3,000 repetitions to um, uh, find the best solution. And this uh, training of this uh, decision move, uh, I make a video during the training, and he can look 10 seconds, one, uh, uh, 46 seconds after this um, training, what he has doing. Also, I sh he can, he can uh, uh, sh uh, see at the video what he has done. Also, I o don't only speak with him, good, bad, or you have to do this, but he can look it at the video. I will, sh I will show you on Saturday. So, in 18 months, this player had 3,000 repetitions in hope that he will uh, uh, solve this solution better and better. In the 19th, I had this player, he, his name was Budanov, uh, he was seven years my player on this position. He had more than 10,000 repetitions. And then I had Stefan Knea and other players which are now in other clubs. So uh, that is very uh, important that we train this action in six against five and in six against four, uh, six against five and in seven against six. And the solution is the, nearly the same. He is the player which decides what he is doing and then we go on playing and most of the actions we find a solution here. And I will show after 20 minutes or uh, 20 minutes uh, in the real reality how it functions. And the last step we do is that we play seven against six with one, two, three line players. And in the evening we play six against six with three line players and six against six with two pivot. This is the second unit in the evening. Now I would suggest we start. Uh, the warming up is finished. As I would suggest that we start uh, quickly with the passing quality move. We have two groups, two balls, penetration, one, two, three, dangerous uh, ball, and the second is to look to the goal. That means facing, or the penetration and facing. These are the two important moves, basic moves for an offense player. Okay, facing, penetration. Okay, three steps.
Okay, stop. This group is not so perfect like this group. This group is much better. You show it with your group. It's not enough to get the ball and make this. This is a dangerous position that everybody fears that you will shoot, will shoot. Not when you have the ball here. And you have the ball passing in the same moment where the first step goes on the floor. Also, the similar time here and looking to the goal. But you have to be the ball here and back here. We look what they do. Okay. Okay. No move. Go on, go on. Next. More power. Too near. Bad step work. Goalkeeper. Better. Three steps. Okay. That's okay. That's for me a normal piston movement. I think that a piston movement without a running, not only Helmut Steil, directly on the opponent. So the first move, this is my defense player. So it makes more sense, we are standing here, that we go here, not on the defense player, besides the defense player. Then he will follow and then we make a move with a bounce and go, I will show, I get, I get, I get, I get. We get the ball besides and then we make a move away from him, backwards, and then we make the pass. And you go in this direction and then inside. This is for me a piston move and a one and one uh, fake move without the ball. When he, when he runs here, it's without the ball. The second is with the ball. Okay, I'm standing here and he goes there. Now, backwards, very good. Next, side, side move, back move, bounce move. Okay, go side and away from me now. Okay. Very good for a goalkeeper. Uh, the ground move is okay or the basic, but the perfect aspect is that when you go in this way, that you make not this, this is no dangerous action. You have to go by facing penetration, Helmut, shall you just my hand? But, uh, by, fa and by facing and penetration, and you go here, the trainer, uh, please, on the nine meter. When I get the ball, I go here. Perhaps I go here now, but now I go here. And then, you stay here, I have to go here. That he has to fall, that I force him to help. And then I can pass, not before. That this facing penetration move comes in the space between the two uh, defense players. Okay, without defense, it's okay. Thank you. Okay. Wo sind das jetzt? 14, ja. 4 gegen 3, das sind schon 14. Und jetzt haben wir keine Trikots. Hm? Peter! Wir machen ein Warming Up für die Goalkeeper. Wir haben zwei Goalkeeper in jedem Goal. We have, do we have a ball for every player? And we have no shirt that we can say who is defense, who is offense. Yes, we have two different dresses. This is the first and the other? Oh, it's very similar. It's very difficult to recognize which is defense and which is... And the, the, the shirts are very similar. The offense players look like the defense players. I cannot. Ah, yeah. Okay. So, this is a 
my king drill, my best drill, I think, for Yeah, and back, 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 back. <laughs> when you play your pass, I will show, I will show. Stop, stop. You are in front again. You go here. So, now you are here. I go inside with one bounce move. Wap, dass ich hier aufziehe. Und so, und jetzt komm ich, kommst du. Pa, 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 pa. Okay, und dann we go here to the goal. And then the next. Everybody is running as fast as you can. Okay. This is for me a twice piston move. You have two moves or three. And the second move backwards is the most important move of a handball player in offense, I think. To get distance from the defense. You have the option that uh, the player is, uh, you, go, uh, you go straight, I would suggest. You go straight. You go uh, from here, from here, uh, you, go, you come where your trainer, from this position, you go in the center, here. Although I show it. You get the ball here. So, now this is number four. Now we have a three against two situation. Uh, this is just, uh, this, uh, we can start here. This is 10 meters. And now the option is this or this pass. The variation is that you make this move, you go in a block. We go over, over the block and either we play him or we play him. When you want to make it easier, you make a, uh, a block where you look at him. So it's very dangerous when we are six against five that the referee makes, when you make this, he whistles for he has, he has an advantage. So you make a front hull. And the, the move is in this way, we get the ball, now we make it with a block, going here, so and then we have the decision, do you stay here? We only want to play two against one, we have only an easy solution, either shot or going on this meter, or pass to the, and then we start the action on the other side. Uh, when this, uh, Action is ready. Uh, you with the ball uh, makes uh, the action for him, so that you uh, you make a little bit uh, penetration inside, and he, he starts, and then you are the second. Okay, Hop. go. You start. There's a goalkeeper. And next. And go. Next. 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 Okay. Got it. Wait a little bit. It's a, perhaps a little problem that we make the, the, a little bit more in this way, though it's not so dangerous that the shoot goes on his head. Now it's better for you. Okay, you only make this side and you this side. Okay, we start. Both sides. Both sides. Very good. Yeah, stop. Very good. Congratulations, very good action. I think we have to give a little applause to him. Very good action, stop. But you are too near. You have to be finished with your action here. When you go too much inside, it's too narrow. You understand? You have to be, you start a little bit more between one and two. And the first step goes straight. Also, uh, stop a moment. It's important, you make a piston movement. No, 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 no. 
So, you see, the problem, when we make here this move and make this, then he is here. When I make this, he doesn't defend against me. I have to go here and when he, when he, when he come, then I pass. When he doesn't come, you shoot in the six meter. So that's the first detail. And the second, you go, now we go here straight, here, straight. And then I make this move and then I jump. And then, uh, and then I can pass or can shoot. But you have to stay till, the, till this point. Here you must be ready at the black line. And you have to be ready at the gray line. Here. Here's finish. Your action. It's here finish. Not going inside. Okay. We start. Again. No, we have stop. We have two goals. You can you can train every every players. Good so? And next, next, quicker, action, next, next, no, we play six against five, we need a, oh we have one player too much, uh, no, we have one, uh, this player goes, you go on the pivot, position here. We only start the action on the left side with two players so that you can look what he might makes wrong or you can look what he's making wrong. So we, I think everything is clear. You know what we have to do. You, you start, you have the ball and then you start. Six, no, no, here's the ball and you start. No, when Again, you have to jump. You have to jump and look what happens. When his player is here, he is free. But you did nothing, or you did nothing, and so we have only six, uh, we have five against five, again. Okay, very good. Next, next, it's now you're, you're. You have to, to be dangerous. You, you make Okay, when we have a video, when, we, when defense player number two, this is he, when he attacks you, you show it, you remember, take the ball, when he attacks you, then we have to be one player more on your side. Well, this is two and this is one. And we have here two players of your team. When he is acting, acting against you, the pass, you are standing here, the pass to the middle is a wrong decision. One of these players must be free. Understand? Okay. Okay. Start. Very good. Next there. You see this pass is a little bit more difficult. So it is, it's not the best solution. Even for player in the German first league. Yeah. Okay, this was a goal. When the goal, everything is right. But the decision was not good. You had two, two players in a block. You made a goal, this is okay. But the decision was not good. Next. Jawohl. Very good variation. A jumping fake and then a bounce pass with good timing. Next. Okay, now you see the defense is not very intelligent. It would be good, you go here, or it's too easy. So we have, now, we make it easier for them. You go here all the time. But you could look if he's really at your position. And then we have three against four, and you are here, you know. And then you go straight, and then from you, the block, and then we have three against two. Okay, but yes, straight. Okay. Oh. Three players on the side, on the left, offhand side, pass. Yeah. Uh, that's the easiest goal in handball 
can happen. The back player makes a penalty shot with five meters uh, Anlauf. Run. I'll, uh, we show it again. When this situation is, and he comes free here, a better shooting position, he cannot uh, get in handball. From here, from the player, which is running in the center. Okay, again. Ah. Yeah. The problem is that you have too long your hand that they can, you have to make this, you get the ball here, then you go there, and then you have to decide, pass, he cannot get this ball, then you have the ball here, he can make a foul. Okay, again. We make the block looking to him. We make no, and the problem of this block is that you have no good control over him. So you can see him and you have no the problem that you make this and the referee makes foul of you. For you don't get the ball back, so you can stand here. And nothing with the ball is interesting for you. Okay. Jumping. Stop. When the player the decision player is not dangerous. You go there and make this. You have to jump and to look and make an easy, good pass for him. Noah. This jumping. Okay. Okay, I think it's clear. Okay, try it. Okay. Very good. You are you are a big talent. You understand? Big talent. Who well, didn't didn't know what you are doing, but he jumped and he did the right decision. You had the third player is against you, so we have to be three against two. When the second player is against you, you have to look for him or for him. You understand? Yes. Okay. Either you have to jump more. Again, right side. You have to rest. Stop. Okay. Hop. Penetration, piston movement. Yeah. Okay. I think it's nearly too easy, but you see, even if a player comes late, he see what he wants to do. It's very easy to solve. To solve. Uh, we have to make four, four more. We have a goal. We've got a goal. Four push-ups. Defense. Four. Yeah. Goalkeeper, goalkeeper two. <laughs> now, again, it's, you have to fight more. You know what, what will happen. Do everything to get no goal. No, no, no block, a little bit anticipation. Make pressure. When, when you have two fouls, you have one. And they have to do eight push-ups. Okay. Eight. Okay. Okay, four, two. Also, the concept is too good. Again, I think now they have a good chance with the left wing. I, I right wing, I think he's not dangerous enough. Okay, I think it's too difficult for you. Okay, stop, okay. It's, it's okay. It's, they are too good and the concept is too good. Now we look for seven against six. Now you can see here the situation. Where's the stick? Stop, stop, stop. So now you see the first beginning. You see now our player which is playing this system. He's normally the left wing or the, the, the pivot. He always plays this situation for my both players of the left back player position, Schlinger and Gutbut were injured. So I had to play this action with a player, which is not used to play on this position, but he's a player in my team in the eighth year, so I always watched eight years what the others do. And then 
in the beginning or in the week before this game, I trade it with him 20, 30 times, not more. And I think this player has only 50 repetitions in the last years in this action. For he's always the third player on the back player left side. Now you see here the situation, we have three players. This pass here is able or is possible, but I think it's difficult and the ankle here is not very good. I think he will, he will play the ball to the goalkeeper. This is no goalkeeper, this is my back player, my center back player, my playmaker, okay. Oh yes, you see, he finds the right solution. Two players in the six meter, seven meter. And I spoke together with Stojanovic, he's playing in this team of Hildesheim. They trained it every training before the game against us. And you see the results of their training. So now you see this move. When the, when the player has a bad ankle, you always make an alley hoop or a camper move or a, wie sagen die Österreicher? Flieger, oder? Zum Camper. Wie? Okay, that's klar, aber in other lands, I can't use. Patrick, how say the, the Austrian? Flieger, oder? When they play a camper. Flieger. And the basketball would say alley hoop. For we have always the option. You see the situation, two wide pivots, starting here very calmly, very slowly, third, three players here, and then some different solutions for the right player here. Now they have an idea, stop, 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 stop. It's a stupid idea. For to make an offense player against this player is the stupidest idea I can imagine. For it's now very easy, they only have five players, this player doesn't know what to do here, and we have an express pass. How does Wendy say? Express pass. A pass, not to the next, a quick pass over more than or two positions. And then you see here we have a three, or you can say a three against one situation. One, two, three against one. Easier, it is not possible to play. Okay? Always the same crazy idea here. He goes in the action, pass, or oh, that's the same, the same uh, action. We have always two repet repetitions. Stop. Now you see we make this with the back player right. He's new player. He, 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 he trained this situation only 50 to 100 times, I think, not more. But I have not the specialist here, and when you play it 20, 30 minutes, you can't play, I think, always the same action. For the spectators are not very satisfied when you play always the same, but it was a, play, a game in Hildesheim, so that isn't this prob the problem. But I think to variate, to set, give a new, a new uh, task for the defense, that we start the action now here, okay? Now you see the first action is not successful, but we keep calmly playing here. Do you have the block? And we have a going uh, through the six meter move from the position here. Always the same action again. Yes. We start again here. Without the pass to the wing, you see a very, very easy solution. Always the option for the camper trick. This is one option to play with this player. I have options that the player here has the ball or that the wing player has the ball. And even if what the pivots, you see always here the, the camper move of this player. Very calmly. They are looking what is what happens. With our pass, express pass, and the second pivot is free. This, so he has not always the block option. Here you see the indirect block. This is a game against Hamburg. 
in Hamburg three players and now we have the option that they don't attack him. We must be able to have a player which have a, uh, a, a shot, by, uh, not a jump shot, on which can jump, uh, can shot without jumping. And then you have to, to change very quick. So that when a wing player has the ball, it can, could be only this wing player for he has a short way to change. This wing player is not possible, or this back player is not possible. Okay, we start. Seven against six. Start. Okay. Up. You see, you go back, you go back, back. It was the wrong decision, but he's a good shooter. The pivot was free. The easier goal would be the goal shot from the uh, pivot player, but he shot very good. Why? It was a bounce ball and it was on the corner, which is much more difficult for the goalkeeper when you have a shot on the right side. Okay, again, again. We start. Stop. You have to look. He's free. And you have to wait. He runs too early. In the space, you have to, to wait here. He has to wait here. And then the hole. And he will see it earlier when you go behind him. When you run too, too, too early. You have to wait. And you have to look. And you have to start a little bit more here. Okay. Jump. Weiter. Okay, we start again. Again. Go. Go. Yes. Okay. So I think everything that everybody understood should understand what's the target or what's the principles of the conception seven against six or six against five. We play it one more, one more action, and stop. We gave the pivot the, 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 the shirt. Yeah, the, the shirt to him. The shirt. The goalkeeper is here. Hello, the goalkeeper is here. When you get the ball, you don't have to shoot. You play a pass to him or to him. When you go, when you are free. No, you, you, that's your. Also, when, er, when, when he comes in the shooting position, you have to make a pass to him. You are jump. Or the wing. Hello. You are in the corner. Hello. You are in the corner. In the corner. And you wait for the pass of him. Okay, we start. But we begin here. Also. It's a good, a good proof. Uh, Evidence-based, uh, evidence-based that the long shot from the goalkeeper is an 80% a fault pass and not a, a empty net goal. You see here. Okay, I thank you very much. We have to finish the group uh, with Peter now. Right?